The cycling industry is really bad at keeping new products secret. As we saw with the Canyon Air Road launch yesterday, we've actually seen it being used in pro races around the world for most of the year and a bit of last year as well. So we knew it was out there, but it wasn't until yesterday we saw it launch and confirmed all the details that we've been speculating on for so long. And this is part and parcel of how all the bike brands and component brands involved in the World Tour pro cycling scene operate. They develop a product in secret over many years and then give it to the pro riders and get feedback both in training and in pro races because they need that validation of that product in the final testing phase before they're ready to release it to the world and media get their hands on a sample and it's in the shops and so on. So over the years, as a tech journalist, I've seen many new products being spotted for the very first time in the pro peloton or quite often being shared by a rider on their social media, as is the case with this latest release. Remco Evanpool has released what appears to be Shimano's new Durace wireless group set on his Instagram with a short video. I've screen grabbed it here and we'll just go in and have a closer look at what appears to be the next generation Durace group set. Now rumours have been swirling around the internet for many years now about the next generation of Durace. Last launched in 2016, available in 2017. So 2020 marks three years since that product was really released to the public and is about to write for a new update. And since then, SRAM have released their ETAP wireless and Campag have gone to 12 speed and 13 speed on their gravel group set. So a bit of catch up to do with Shimano to remain kind of current and modern and contemporary as many consumers expect them to. But Shimano, as is their way, a conservative company, they don't rush out, they don't jump on the hype train. They do the engineering, do all their solid design and development and release the product when they are fit and ready. Now there isn't much we can tell from this video, only a few glimpses of the group set in a few places, but if we freeze frame on the rear mech, we can see the rear mech does look very different to current jewelries. A different construction, different color, but most importantly, there's no wire attached to the rear mech go into the frame as we would expect with a DI2 setup. So this might confirm, if it's true, that jewelry is gonna be a wireless group set. Now many consumers have been expecting and demanding perhaps Shimano to go in SRAM direction and release a wireless group set. Now I asked a Shimano engineer at the last Durace launch back in 2016 why they aren't doing a wireless group set and his answer was they would only do a wireless group set when they can match the speed of Durace Di2 in terms of shift speed and the current technology at the time clearly wasn't up to where Shimano wanted it to be to match the performance of Di2. So if this video is true and does confirm a wireless dual race DI2 group set, then it must be a technology got to a place and Shimano's engineering got to a place where the wireless shift speed is on a par with the DI2, maybe even faster perhaps. Now SRAM, as you know, do ETAP their wireless group set, being hugely successful, being really good for the company, red and force levels. And if anybody has used a group set, they know it works really well. But if we're being really picky, really fussy, the shift speed is not quite as good as Durace Di2 or Ultegra Di2. Looking at the rest of the group set from what we can tell from the video, well the front mech looks the same, the crank set looks the same, the shifters and the hoods look the same, the levers perhaps look a bit smaller, but it's the rear mech that looks most noticeably different from the current Durace and probably our biggest indication yet. So not concrete evidence at all, could well be wrong. This could be, um, it's funny when SRAM launched their wireless group set many, many years ago, they actually put out a group set with fake wires attached to throw people off the scent, to throw tech journalists off the scent. And then sometime later, they took the fake wires off and released it and everybody was shocked and surprised. But I don't think Shimano would be doing the opposite of that, taking the wires out and then revealing a wired DIT. That wouldn't work, would it? So yes, Durace probably will be a wired group set. The technology is there. I'm sure the market wants it. But what are the benefits of wireless and why are Shimano going to wireless? Well, it's a good question. And perhaps the biggest benefit is when you're building the bike, putting the components on the frame. But that's only a job for the mechanic or the bike brand, or if you're building a bike yourself, and something you do once. So it's a one-off benefit. Um, it's certainly easier setting up a SRAM ETAP group set compared to a wired DI2 or other configuration. Another benefit is with the move, the trend to one piece carbon fiber handlebars and fully integrated solution with all the cables and hoses and wires inside the frame is that by removing the two shift wires, you make it a little bit easier to design a special stem to optimize aerodynamics. But the benefits are smaller because you still have two hydraulic hoses that have to go in the handlebar and into the frame. 
probably the other really significant benefit in the consumer market is a wireless group set gives a bike a very clean, modern, contemporary look. And if we look at some of the latest bikes being released now, they all look very sleek and all very modern with no exposed cables or wires, very clean, nice packaging on them. So that's probably the biggest reason for going wireless is the look of the bike and what the consumer, what you guys expect from a modern road bike. And it's clear from my giant TCR videos posted previously on my channel that many of you dislike external cable routing and want and demand and expect internal cable routing. So some people think it's the brands leading with marketing, just trying to give you more reasons to buy a new bike. But it's clear lots of you want internal cable routing and the bike brands are responding and now Shimano is responding as well. That video then would appear to confirm that Shimano will be going down a wireless route for a dual race, but what else can we expect from the new group set? Will it be called 9200 as many media outlets expect or 9400? Nobody knows, but we'll know soon. It will probably be a 12 speed group set. As you know, dual race is currently 11 speed, but over in the mountain bike world, Shimano has already dabbled with 12 speed with its XTR, XT and Dior group sets all now offered in 12 speed using a new micro spline free hub standard to allow a smaller 10-2 sprocket to be used on that cassette. So a big benefit of 12 speed as we've seen with Shimano and Campag is that with the extra sprocket you can increase the overall range of the cassette at the top end and the low end and also tighten up the cassette to make sure we have smaller gaps between the ratios. So a wider range with a nice smooth progression we want for maintaining the optimum cadence. Whether the pros need bigger range cassettes than the current 1130 remains to be seen, although mountain stages in the Tour de France and Giro are getting tougher and tougher every year, so I'm sure they would like some lower gears. But in reality, it's for people who don't race, people who buy a dual race group set but enjoy cycling, doing big rides, doing a bit of racing maybe, but it's more about performance and aspiration, and a wide range cassette would definitely help those people doing Grand Fondos and Sportives and so on. What else might we see? Well, who knows? But I'd like to see a weight reduction on the disc brake group set to help bring the weight of disc brake bikes overall down to a much lower level and much closer to rim brake bikes, a really narrow gap, which at the moment is about 400 to 500 grams when you take into account the frame of fork differences, the wheel differences and the brakes themselves. I'd also like to see more adjustment with the brake levers, both reach and bike point, so you can better tune the brake levers to how you feel. You can do this with mountain bike brakes really well, so I'd like to see the same technology brought to the road bikes. Usually when Shimano brings out a brand new dual race group set, it's an all new crank set, brand new design. We saw it with the last one and the one before that. From the video, it doesn't look like there is a new crank set, but that might be an old version. There might well be a new crank set in the pipeline. So what can we expect? Uh, lighter, stiffer, they're the usual uh, keywords with new products. But we might see an upgrade to a power meter. When it launched a few years ago, it wasn't that well received with a few issues. And since then, they bought the Pioneer power meter business. So with that purchase, we might well see an update to the power meter and a way it's integrated into the crank set, as we've seen with SRAM's neat integration of their power meter into the chain ring itself. As we can see in the video, Remco Evan Paul's riding a disc brake group set. Will it be a disc brake only group set? Well, probably not. I'm sure Shimano will still release a rim brake version as I'm sure they still offer a mechanical group set. I really don't think Shimano will abandon rim brakes or mechanical gears. I think the meltdown online in forums and comments would be just outrageous. So I think there will be a mechanical and a rim brake version still offered in the latest Dura race. But no, it could be wrong, who knows. But given Shimano's history and the way they are more conservative than SRAM and other companies, I expect there to be a wide range of options still, whilst the top tier group set, the flagship group set if you like, will be wireless, disc brakes and 12 speed. Anyway, that's all for now. Just a quick video to share my thoughts on what appears to be the new dual race group set. If got any questions, put them down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.